In this video, I'll show you how to move a mask around an object, and how to move an object behind a mask. Ok, so first off I'll just delete those examples, and display our image. Now the first thing we'll do is drag our playhead back to the beginning of the timeline, and with our footage selected, it can be either an image or video, it doesn't matter. Go up and grab your shape tool, select the shape you want the mask to be, and create your mask. So as you can see here now, underneath the footage or image, you will see there is a new mask. Now to move the mask, all you need to do is click down from the mask, and where it says Mask Path, click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, move your playhead to where you want the animation to end, and then with the selection tool, just grab the edge of the mask and move it to where you want it to go. So that's how you move a mask around an object, but what say you want to move an object behind a mask? You can't do it this way because if you were to animate the position of the object, the mask would also follow. So a different way you could do this is if we just delete that mask out, you can add what is called a track mat. So what we'll do is deselect the footage or image, go back up to our shape, so we're just going to create a shape layer on its own, and create our shape, which will be our mask. Position the shape where you want the mask to be. I might even just rename this to mask. Now the footage that's sitting under this shape layer, which will soon be our mask, what we will do is select it, and from the track mat column, in the drop down, we will go to alpha mat mask. And now what's happened is that the mask has masked out everything but our shape. Now we can move this using our position, so selecting the mask and clicking P for position, Click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, move to where you want the animation to end, and then drag your mask down. As you can see, that is very similar to what we just did with the actual mask. But what we can do now is if we select our footage, again it can be either video or image, hit P on your keyboard for position, click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, move to where you want the animation to end, and now you can just drag your footage that's behind the mask. So we now have this. Now if you can't see this track mat column or any of these other columns, you can just right click up here, go to columns, and select what you need to be displayed. 